Okay, so I just want to do a quick little um, video to show the effects of what can happen using a wash uh, over just a really a base coated model. Uh, these guys, they're base coated, but they're also uh, the metal on them is highlighted and stuff like that. So there's quite a bit done to them already. The red's fairly plain, you know, just a sort of a gray base coat over the skin, brown base coat over uh, some of the fur and leather and stuff like that. So not a whole lot of detail work going on, but I want to create some depth and some shadow, so that's where a wash comes into play. This one here is uh, Awesome Paint Jobs um, Sepia Wash, which I made using the recipe that, uh, that he was kind enough to put up online. So I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a wash, and then uh, you can see how that works out. Uh, a lot of people put um, their models on some sort of, sort of, sort of device that's a little bigger than the model itself. Um, when they're painting them, so it's more comfortable for your hand. So, let's get some trusty old blue tack, which everybody should have in their uh, arsenal. And just mush it together a little bit. <clears throat> Stick it on top. And then you can press your model into it. So it just gives it something a little bit more larger to hold, a little bit more comfortable on your hand. Okay, so washing, pretty simple. You're just putting the, uh, the wash all over the model and letting it flow off, allowing it to do its work. So most of it flows off fairly simply by itself without much effort from you. Um, washes add a lot of age to a model as well as depth, so when you're doing stuff like chaos like this, it's a good thing to use. Some painters don't like to use washes, they just don't like the way it works, or they don't like the lack of control that you get uh, when you're using it or something, but I like washes. Maybe for competition painting, it's not the best choice to do besides, you know, giving it a shade. Things like that, but uh, for, your, for your average tabletop gamer who just wants a nice looking model or above average model or whatever, uh, wash is the way to go. So, the same effect could be done with like Games Workshop. Uh, that new brown one they have, the graveyard thing or whatever it is, or Earthshade Brown or anything like that. Okay, so really that's about it. You're just painting it onto the guy. It uh, has its thing. Right now it just looks like a little bit of lobs here and there, but you let it dry, it falls into where it needs to be. And that's it. Job complete. If you get it pooling like in the, the large flat areas like that, you can just pull it off, wipe your brush on something, get rid of it. Like in here, there's a bunch of pooled in here. So you just grab your brush, pop it out, wipe your brush off. That kind of thing. That's where some people go wrong using it. I've washed, they really let it pool all over the place and then it dries and you get like this huge dark spot. But um, it's better for you to do one coat, let it dry. If that's not dark enough for you, do another coat and off you go. Even uh, two or three coats can't hurt when they're really thin. That's it. We'll come back to that uh, once he's all dried up. Okay, so now after a wash, these guys up here are pretty much dry. I've just went through all, however many guys this is I've got here. Uh, this is my word bear commission that I'm working on, by the way. Um, so they're looking pretty good. The uh, brown adds a bit of age, a bit of darkens it up a little bit. 
um, uh, sort of puts a neutral color through the model so that you're not really chopping a bunch of different colors against each other. Um, and like I said, I like washes. They do the trick for me. So this is after one wash. You can, you should be able to see quite a bit of a difference of the uh, color um, with like this guy's horns, for instance, compared to the way it used to look. Here's, where's that, uh, where's that first guy? So now that he's dry, let's see if I can come in and still hold the focus here. So you can see it's added some warm sort of color over the whole model. His face doesn't look so gray anymore. Um, that's one thing that I saw somebody I think on uh, in the White Dwarf or something like that paint uh, gray skin um, and then just give it a wash. Use a three color wash. Worked pretty good to uh, give it some effect. But this is just one wash. I'll come in and pull some more flesh tones out and clean up the eyes and stuff like that. But uh, there's a whole squad. Or a couple squads actually. All washed up, excuse me, and pretty much good to go. So uh, after this, I'll touch up the reds a little bit, um, pull out a little bit more uh, white color into the, the bone stuff. Uh, maybe a quick dry brush of, on the silver, just to pop a couple more highlights out here and there. Mind you, that silver was already base coated, washed with black, and then dry brushed already. So now that uh, that's the second wash really on that stuff. So. See one of these terminators here where we're at. A little bit bigger to look at. Okay, you're really seeing the gun, it adds a bunch of shadows and stuff. So this can be done with any of the washes really. I do, like I said, like how the Austin paint job really flows off of where you don't want it to be and into the cracks and stuff. But the same thing could be done with uh, GW paints. Um, again, here I'll just do another quick live one. Just to show you the speed at which um, I do this kind of stuff. So this guy's all silver and everything. So it's just a matter of splashing it on without too much uh, thought here, all over the whole model. It's actually dripping off on my hand because I'm kind of being ridiculous with it. But I'm sure you guys won't mind. Okay, so that's really heavy right now, a lot like a dip would be or something like that, you know, where you're just pretty much blobbing the whole model in there, and you can see it's all pooled up all over the place, so I'm just pulling off the pooled stuff, wiping off my brush. Pulling off the pooled stuff, wiping off my brush. At this point, if you didn't do something like this, even with a regular wash when you're not going super heavy, if you don't find those pools that are gathering where they shouldn't be uh, and you don't get those out of there it's gonna look not great you get this you know you'll get a big dark spot on here kind of thing or something like that so anyways that's that Nothing major, but uh, it's just sort of another cool color through the model. So once that actually dries up, you'd see it look. It looks pretty nice. And that's about all my uh, infinite wisdom to uh, washing. Um, other than if I was to go back and do one more coat on these guys here, you'd see they darken up quite a bit more. Um, for instance, the new Necrons with the dark metal. You see them, they're painted, they're painted metal. They're washed black, and then once that's dry, they're washed brown. These are both very thin coats, or painting it heavy like that and then pulling off. So metal, and then black wash, and then brown wash, and then um, once that's all dry, they do sort of like an edge highlight uh, just around the silver bits of the model. So like almost like uh, outlining it. So yeah, I just wanted to show me using washes on these guys because I was gonna do it, and I wanted uh, to be able to show how I do it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Take